Hey everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy. And I'm gonna share with you the layouts that I did using the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. This is using the Spice Market um, Collection, which was our August collection. And uh, as I said, this is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and it comes with what we call a simple Dory booklet. And I created a couple layouts, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through those and talk a little bit about the, um, the product that is in them. So one of the things that I used on, actually on both layouts, we're continuing on with uh, this stamping layout that we've done for the last couple months. We started in June and then we did one in July and we are gonna continue on at least through the end of the year, possibly for the whole year, if this is something you guys are really enjoying. I know I am, I love um, the way it makes the journaling so uniform. And one of the things I wanted to point out is that you can interchange all of these as well. So this one, so this is for the August kit, but the layout that I'm doing is a picture from June. So what I did is I took the, um, the June, the six for the month of June from my old June stamp set and used that with this one. So that's why you see the six instead of the eight. So I wanted to point that out. And I did create, what I did is I, I stamped this and then I used the little dreaming of and then I added my journaling on the other lines. And I did, if you check out my Instagram, uh, you will see a little video that I did showing you how to um, add your journaling directly onto your page, how to run it through the printer. If you're, if you're not familiar with how to do that, I walk you through those steps. It's super, super simple. So check out my Instagram and you'll see that little video in my feed. So the way that I started with this layout is I did um, the journaling here and then I stamped this beautiful, um, and the detail on this is so pretty, this larger mandala. I stamped that in a couple spots and ran it off the edge of the page as well, which adds some interest in a really pretty kind of a orange yellow color. And then I placed my photograph on there and added the night swim using the puffy alpha stickers and then some of the washi tape on the top and the bottom. And the reason I did that is this, um, pattern this page right here and what I loved about this page as well is that it had the it had the title already in it so this page was really basically done um, but I wanted to bring some uh, it's a very bold very saturated um, pattern and so I wanted to bring some of that over onto this side to just kind of make it very cohesive. And so that's why I took the orange washi tape and added a border on the top and bottom. And it just kind of brings that bold color over onto this page. The other thing I wanted to point out just kind of design wise is um, colors that work together are blue and orange. So I did the dark blue of the sky. The reason I picked this orange is I thought it would complement the blues in um, in that photograph as well. So I added this I, and then I added a few little glitter dots on here and then a couple pieces of, um, of the chipboard. I used the little, the only thing I added on this side was just the little chipboard sunshine. I thought that was cute. And then the half circle just can't get enough of this. And the other reason that I really liked another little design thing, the, the other reason I really liked this is you're mimicking a lot of half circles uh, that are on this page. So anytime you repeat anything design wise, it balances, it makes it cohesive and it makes it pleasing to the viewer's eye. So if you look at the majority of my stamping, they are running off the page so they are half circles. If you look at the fire pit, and the ring that we have here, and even the, the image of the way the pool is shot in the picture, and the day bed, it's all half circles. So using this as a half circle, those as half circles, it creates this balance because it's repeating an element, it's repeating um, a shape. 
And so that makes it very pleasing to the eye. You even have the half circles on this image. They're subtle, but they're still on there. So just a little design tip on that. And then I'm gonna take you to my other page. And this one, I used um, one of the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping cards. And in the kit, you get four of them. And they're great jumping off points. They're great to use just as a page for the title. They're great to use for journaling. Um, you could add a photograph in there. This one would be super fun to do of um, a new recipe or somewhere that you've eaten at. You know, if summertime is food truck time, it would be great to put a picture of that in there as well. But I loved this one um, because this is a picture of us when we went to Barbados and it pulls out the color um, of the flower in my hair and the plum dress that I'm wearing. So I loved how it, it did that. So I used that, I liked the enjoying the, this life and then the other thing that I, I loved, and I used just about all of them up, in um, the die cuts, we have all of these great stamp die cuts. I just love these. And, and what I love about um, a lot of the stuff that's in this kit is you can go just about any direction with it. Um, it's not real, it, it, it has an overall theme, but you can apply it to just about anything because it just has these beautiful general saturated colors and like the stamp die cuts that really goes with just about anything and everything. They're so fun to layer. So I just laid, and remember they are stickers. All of our die cuts are stickers. Um, so you can peel off the backing and I put those and I ran them off the edge and cut them and I just thought it was a great border. And again, carrying, because this is very, very bold um, you want to carry some of that boldness over and um, kind of make those two pages into one. And so that's why I added the border there. And that's also why I added this super bright photo favorite half circle. Again, it's mimicking this half circle here, but it's mimicking the color as well. And then I stamped the 05 because this is May. So again, this is eight, but this um, this layout is for May. You don't have to um, stick to just one month in your booklet. It can be whatever you want. The uh, one thing I wanted to mention before I continue is sometimes what I will do is I will do a few layouts in each booklet, cut out those layouts, and then put them all in one ring bound book. Um, or binder so that I have all of the pages. I don't feel like I have to finish one dory per month. I just kind of do the pages that I want to do. I cut them out and then add them and I'm creating one large book that's just a mishmash of all of the themes and all of the colors and everything. Um, it's just an album of everything. It's just an album of, of life. You don't have to necessarily take this simple dory and, and finish it and only use it one per month. That There's no rules. There's nothing that says you have to do that. So you can take out your favorite pages. And like I said, I then hole punch them and I'm creating one large um, binder that is just everything. It's just going to be fun when it's done. It's just done when it's done, when I can't fit any more pages in it. And uh, it'll be kind of neat to look back at all of the different all of the different pages and themes and and it's just an album. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no particular you know month or season or anything. And and I kind of like that because it's absolutely no rules to it. And it takes the stress out of it. I don't feel like I have to finish something. I don't feel like I have to complete a particular booklet before I can move on to something else. I can do my favorites and then do something else the next month and not feel guilty about it. So anyway, so going back to this, I did the same thing here. I did a little bit of the stamping on here and then um, I ran it through my printer and added my journaling around it. I did a little bit of the rub-ons and these are so fun to layer. This was something that I really wanted to do um, this month because the colors are so vibrant and they're gonna be so fun to play with. I wanted to have all of these little ink splatters and watercolor uh, bits and pieces that you could layer and put around 
your photographs, you could layer them under the die cuts, you could layer them with the stamping. So there's a lot of fun ways that you can use this. And don't be afraid to cut these up. If you only need just a little bit of one of these, then cut out just a little bit. And you can see where I cut out the pieces that I want before I use them. So don't try and rub, rub them down while it's still on the sheet. Cut out what you're going to use and then, um, and then rub them down separately. And that is what I did here. So this was all one, and I cut a little piece out and put it here and then did the other one behind the photograph there. And then this little die cut here, I just raised up on a little bit of foam adhesive, and then that was it. Super simple, super easy, but I love how these stamp sets are making everything that I do very, very cohesive. So you have two completely different layouts, but they're looking really nice and really consistent by using those stamp sets. Um, I think that that's it. I didn't, I didn't use any glitter dots on this one, um, but I did on the other one, and I'm sure I will going forward on more. So I hope that has helped. I hope you are looking forward to this kit. I can't wait till you get it and you get to play with it. There's so many beautiful, fun patterns in here. Um, I love this stamp one. I love this black and white one. And then of course this one is so pretty for adding journaling as well. And then the pretty pink and the orange. So lots and lots and lots of patterns and brightness and perfect for a hot August. So thanks so much.